countering tax avoidance by companies, many multinationals artificially shift their profits to low-tax countries. The European Parliament will be voting in Strasbourg in July on a new law to shed light on these practices. Currently, many multinational companies do not report their profits in the countries where they do business, but where corporate taxes are low. They have subsidiaries in other countries and report turnover there, even though they have very few employees there. This looks suspicious. In recent years, companies like Starbucks, Fiat, Amazon and Ikea have come under fire for alleged corporate tax avoidance. Companies already have to provide tax information relating to the different countries in which they operate, and this is exchanged between tax authorities only. What's different in this new EU law is that companies would have to publicly report, country by country, the number of employees and the taxes that they pay. This would make the profit shifting very visible. The EPP Group spokesperson on this issue, Darius Rosati, explained more. European citizens want, uh, want more transparency in tax matters. And this last piece of legislation asks uh, the Commission and the Council to introduce uh, a rule that would, make, uh, that would oblige uh, uh, multinationals to disclose tax information to general public. Uh, this will give uh, a chance to European citizens simply to look uh, into the books of uh, multinationals and check whether they pay their fair share of taxes. The EPP group wants an exemption to be included in the law for EU companies which do business outside Europe. Mr Rosati explained the difficulty facing these companies. Imagine an EU uh, affiliate uh, which is uh, operating in the American market, in the US market. According to the EU law, uh, to the public CBCR, it would disclose its tax information, including potentially commercially sensitive information, to general public. But all other competitors, uh, that is American companies operating in that market or some other companies from third countries, would not have this obligation. So that would clearly uh, put the European company at a competitive disadvantage vis-à-vis uh, uh, its rivals on that market. Mr Rosati went on to explain how an exemption would work in practice. First of all, a company has to apply to a competent authority in uh, its home member state uh, to uh, get this uh, exemption, temporary exemption. And uh, it has to do it uh, uh, in a reasoned manner in order to uh, demonstrate that indeed uh, some confidential information needs to be protected. Moreover, the member state has an obligation to go to the European Commission and, get the, and justify this decision in order to get final approval.